this is Eddie from Redefined Fishing Channel. I want to do this video for the simple reason that, um, as you guys know, we've been having some issues with our motor. Uh, last time we went fishing, we couldn't basically do anything. We had to return because the motor was not working the way it's supposed to. And we've decided to find out what was wrong with it and do some tests. The things that we did was that we checked spark plugs, we have checked also all the um, uh, coils, their sparks, uh, ohms, uh, fuel, um, everything that we think that could be causing the problem. One of the issues that we found out was that one of our injectors was not pushing or, or working. And they, we didn't see no, no fuel going through when we removed the spark plug tried to start it. The others were good. We had two injectors replaced last year in August. We paid about $2,000 to get two injectors installed on, on the motor. And we also had two replaced about four years ago. One of the, the one that was not working was the one that was replaced uh, two years ago. Uh, four years ago, I'm sorry. So we've heard a lot of people saying with the e-tech 150 or the e-tech ever root you cannot clean the injectors you have to replace them well it's very expensive as i told you it was two thousand dollars last year for two injectors that's a lot of money so we did some research we did some reading we did some investigation we did some googling if you want to call it that way and we found this place in Texas that they do clean the injectors for the E-Tech. They completely change the O-rings and all that. And online, there's a lot of videos of guys removing the injectors, getting them serviced and replacing and putting putting those injectors back in there and, and they're fine. So, so we're gonna give it a try. Um, we already removed the injectors. I'm not gonna show that video or we didn't do a video how to remove it. There's a lot of videos out there how to remove the injectors for the E-Tech. But one thing, I'm, I mean, I could, and I, I'm, and I apologize, I'm using my phone because I went fishing Saturday with some buddies and I left my bag with the cameras on the other truck, so I, I need to go get it today. But let me show you real quick what I'm talking about. Here, let me switch the camera. Okay, so basically, this is the injectors. It has six, one, two, three, four, five, and six as you can see we already removed the four this one is new this one is new uh it's one two three four five and six those are the last two that were replaced last year and basically it's very simple uh remove the two bolts remove the fuel line and then the plug and uh that's basically about it but like i said we tested the, the coils we tested the spark plugs uh, spark plugs are new, the engine, the motor got serviced last year. One thing that is very important, guys, when you, before you remove the injector, mark it. As you can see, even though I put one, that's not one, that's two, but I did that after I kind of realized which one it was. But mark the injector with the cylinder so you know which one where it goes because once it's programmed when it's new it's program is programmed for that cylinder for that cylinder um, and if you don't mark it you're gonna have a lot of issues trust me so I'm gonna show you one of the injectors that we took out we're gonna get back inside we're back simple as that so let me show you the injector one of the injectors that we we, we took out that we're gonna be sending to uh, Texas to get a clean um, I want to show I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it Think there's a letter right in there. I think it's letter F. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Letter F. And we have a list, the letter with the number, the cylinder, and all that. Um, my uh, neighbor, Angel, the mechanic, he punched it. And I wish I could show you how dirty. Look at that. See? Basically, what, from my understanding, from what I've seen on videos, what they do, there's a tool by Evinrude. If they make the tool, that means that it could be removed and clean and change the O-rings and they, change, they sell the kit. It's, if you see that hole right there, that's a screw. There's this tool that you could, with a screw you put, it's like a pulley, and then you screw and this comes out, the hole inside. 
and it has an o-ring inside also this tip right here it could be removed and there's a filter in there that also could be clean but with that you have to be very careful um when you send the cylinder number one gotta make sure it's empty there's no there's no fuel in there also make sure you send everything including the the little sticker or the tag that has a serial number and i gotta tell you which the company but basically there's a form that you filled out with your name the address and the serial number for each injector and you could also add insurance with the insurance it's like a it's a dollar 65 per hundred dollars so you think about it the new injector costs about 385 from what i saw online so maybe four injectors 16 1700 dollars insurance and then you put the credit card information according to the company i called them and i spoke with them according to the company they will check the ohms on the injector the injector is reading less than two that means the injector is not good they're not going to work on that injector they're not going to do anything they don't replace injectors or anything like that they'll send it back so you're not going to get charged they'll only charge you once they finish everything they tested and it's done on the bottom of the description you're going to find the website for the company and it has all the instructions uh, that the basic the procedure that they're going to do to get that inject injector clean once it's done and everything is good then they'll send it back to us they'll ship it back to us they say that it take about once they receive the injector between five to seven days for the injector to be tested they do uh they clean it uh they also what they do is they do a, a, a leak test and once all is done they put it back together all rings and all that then they ship it package ship it and send it back to us it's in houston i'm hoping that we could get this done i'm hoping that this is the issue that we're having with the motor we decided to go this way first because that one of the injectors i don't know if it's this one but one of the injectors it has to be this one or the other one because it's the older one is the one that was uh replaced four years ago it's there's no fuel coming out and when we do a sound test with tetoscope my mechanic he does it it sounds differently so we're not mechanic we're not but hey we'll give it a try it's all about saving money once you get this uh, form filled out and, and sign and put your credit card information, all that, put it on the, on, the, on the box. What do they recommend? One injector on a plastic bag, Ziploc bag, wrap it with bubble wrap, tape it real good, put it in a box, send it. So I'm going to go ahead and, and get this wrap. I'm going to put it in the bag, put the wrap it with the bubble wrap, put tape, put it in the box, make sure the, bags, the, the box is, is packed real good. And I'm going to go ahead and put the form inside. It's already filled out and signed. That was just a blank one. Tape it, and hopefully it's going to be gone. And we'll see what happens. So once um, we get it back, we test it, you'll find out. So stay with us.